Attorney General of Virginia Jason Miaris is here with me right now, as I indicated in the beginning. Revealed today that you're looking into a case that we've been in front of involving Thomas Jefferson High School in Fairfax County, Virginia. This is a school known for its talented and gifted students, and they're intentionally hiding information about National Merit Scholarship Awards from the students who received them who needed the information to use on their college applications. When Thomas Jefferson High School's admissions policies changed not long ago, we noticed a significant drop in the number of Asian American students enrolled there. One parent told me, listen, my daughter has done everything right since first grade, but I'm having to sit down with her and tell her you may lose your dream of attending Thomas Jefferson High. We're discovering that the principal at this school is paying a contractor $631,000 for quotation, so I'm pleased you're doing this, Mr. Attorney General. By the way, of course they're going to pretend that a lot of this is due to equity concerns because that's the new terminology they're using. They're paying over $500,000 to learn about equal outcomes for all students, but how does that compute at all given that this is a school for gifted students and I probably wouldn't have been able to get in there Jason. Equity training that includes a contentious equity-centered strategic plan with the goal that equal outcomes for every student take place without exception Laura Equity. Without excellence is emptiness, which is part of the reason why we're conducting this investigation. Anyone on my team, whether they're looking into Loudoun County, the parole board, or this, we ask them to be fearless and deliberate, so we're going to move forward in the hopes that they'll cooperate, but if not, we have subpoena powers and we'll do that deliberate review of what's actually going on. If you loved the video please hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel.